Um. Lulu crashed into you and stopped. My, are you okay? Who took that tackle head on? Hmm? Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. I'm, gym I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass-type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challenges are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just ahead on through this route, and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep the gym challenges waiting. Um, he's been eating his veggies. Oh, there's... Oh, thanks so much for the resub! Three months, damn! So happy to have you here. That's Turfield Stadium down there. The gym leader just returned, too. Milo's his name. But the place is jam-packed with challenges. It'll be ages before our turn comes up. Oh, but Sonia was looking for you, Nicole. She asked... She wanted to ask you about something. She tried asking me, but I had no idea. She's up on... What's her face hill? You know the one. Bitch, I've never been here. What hill? What? You don't know the hill? Well, have a look at your map if you're not sure. Wow, this asshole. Oh, if it isn't Stonia's Yampa. He's a good boy. He'll show you the way. So we will soon be challenging the um, grass gym after we get through this nonsense. Thanks, Yampa. I had you come because I wanted to hear what you thought. So that geoglyph, what do you think of it? Dynamax? Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. But I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this. It looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't just be coincidence. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Galar region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant. But what was that black storm they called the Darkest Day? What connection does this have to Dynamax? I guess I'm the lucky lady who will be looking into that. Rancher sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you a leak card. Milo's a grass type gym leader. Things will go well for you if you use fire, flying, or bug type moves. Take these too. It'd be pretty bad if your Pokemon weren't in fighting form. Thanks. Go on, then. Get yourself to Turfield Stadium and battle yourself silly. Take a look at this, Nicole. The Grass Gym Badge. I got it in one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling woohoo. I've had plenty of practice answers, after all. But I'm sure you can win this one, too. After all, you are my rival. I'm also a thousand times better than you, Hop. So much more so I can say it. Okay, I guess that's fair. The mission given by Tatfield's Pokemon Gym is this to chase our unruly Wooloo. To that blockade we've made from our bales of straw over there. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee, but it's also my job to report the results of battles to the League HQ. Now, let's the gym mission begin! I hope Rocky doesn't try to wake me up. The kitty cat! <laughs> Work-wise, might be easy at work, but other stresses of the week will be a pain in the ass. I'm so sorry, Tiggity. 
I really hope that it's it's not too stressful for you. Did you really get older? You'll want that sleep. Tiguri's right. I I really wish I could find a balance for you guys. I feel bad. You guys are on the East Coast staying up so late to watch me. But I appreciate you guys so much. Alright, let's get this gym badge. That's what happens if you eat your spinach, guys. You bulk up like Milo. Uh -oh. If you say so. I I appreciate you guys a lot. I do. Let's get this badge and then let's get this bread. I've actually got um like two thirds of a loaf of garlic bread downstairs from my dinner. So I'm probably gonna eat that after the stream. If that makes it worth it. Oh I heart you guys. <laughs> My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challenges. That's why I tried to keep the gym mission challenging, but that didn't stop you from completing it, Nicole. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. You will. It is a fancy hat. It's a very fancy hat. It's not too late. Not like when Cole streams, but I know he works full-time job, so he has... Yeah, he does. Garlic bread is the best! This kids is what happens when you eat too many Flintstone gummies. You become Milo. Alright, let's do this. Eat too much garlic bread? There's no such thing as too much garlic bread. How dare you insinuate that there's such thing as too much garlic bread. Exactly! See, Tiguri's with me! It's impossible to eat too much garlic bread. El Digos. Woohoo, we're not gonna be done that we're done we're not going to be done in that easy. I'm gonna try glycerate level say otherwise. Garlic bread. Oh, we're dynamaxing already? Okay. He's adorable. He is soft boy. Maybe I shouldn't be standing behind the Eldegoss. Just a thought. This will really leave you in shock and awe. It's our Dynamax move. Garlic bread is good for you, so therefore garlic bread is good for you, and that is math. Yeah! Yeah, that's that's Dynamax! Dynamax makes your Pokemon grow very large. In fact, we're gonna do it right now! With our Raboot. Imagine being in front of your Pokemon and getting blasted by a Yeah! Imagine that! That's why I don't want to be standing in front of Raboot. I want to be standing far away from this. Pokemon battles can get vicious. Like... What? Also, we know that attacks can hurt trainers. We all saw the beginning of Pokemon. Yeah, at least to the side.
Yeah. They absolutely can do damage. This is nonsense. Man, this music is bomb. That sound was the thing of nightmares. I'm just trying to not being blown for the range right now. Video game logic. All right, we got our first gym badge. That's your Ash Ketchum, and you just blatantly tried to throw hands with Mewtwo. Yeah. The power of grass has wilted. What an incredible gym challenger. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof you've defeated the gym, defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your very own grass badge. Yay handshakes! Yay friendship! It's just gonna do its crap multiple times. Yep. So I'll just stand and watch while this giant bunny shoots fire all over. Yep. Yep. Brock also got a few times. Yay friendship! I can now catch Pokemon up to level twenty-five. And the only way to gather badges is to beat every gym leader. Challenge Nicole, my most sincere congratulations on defeating gym leader Milo. Please accept this TM to commemorate your victory. Yay! Here, yeah, you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. Because we wouldn't re just hand out his actual uniform. That would be crazy. Oh, speak of the devil. So advice for you, Nicole. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. That means you should stop... Your next stop should be in Hellbury to meet Nessa. Hellbury is just beyond Route 5. Or, since you've got the grass badge, you could head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that's a higher level than the Pokemon on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. 